This is the Harry Potter room. The Harry Potter cupboard. Oh, there could be anything in there. Oh, this is cool. Oh. Um, I've had a look on eBay. You can get about $220 in pretty much like new condition. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a fun video today. I am back. I have made the trip to the Sunshine Coast to check out Laura's collection of goodies. And Laura has been really kind enough to put everything out for us to be able to pick through. I'm out with my good mate Jax, Oz Treasure Hunters today. And we're gonna go through all this stuff and try and find some more stuff that we can sell onto eBay for a profit because that's what I do full time. We've also got the garage that we need to be going through and we've also got the living room to go through as well. So there's a lot of different pockets for this and stick around as well because we've also got a storage unit that Laura has that we're able to go through this afternoon as well. So this is a huge video. Can't wait to get into it guys. Let's start digging, see what we can find. I like the look of this, Naruto. Any of this sort of anime stuff I do try and pick up, so I'm gonna add this to my little collection. Start building this up, start building it up for a second time. Got some more TV shows here too, hey? Oh yeah. Well, you know that's what I'm after. Yeah. House Husbands is probably good. Oh, I lost one to six is probably what I'd be after. Yeah, yeah, I've got that inside. Great. One, two, three, four of House Husbands. So CSI, it's 11, 13, 12. So I'll do that. I like the later seasons, as you know. I feel like I say that a million times. First season of Witches of East End. Four seasons of girls? Look at this. Inspector Rex. And the Tudors. Room. The Harry Potter yeah. cupboard. Yeah. Oh, there could be anything in there. there is. Look at all those there, golf clubs. There's a sets of couple of, I just remembered there's a couple of sets of golf clubs. Look in at them. There. Look at this, Jack. Pings. Pings? <coughs> That's good. That's yeah. Up Somebody yeah. ordered them from Adelaide. He offered three, oh, yeah. me $350, but I didn't know how to send them to him. Well, Jack knows how to do it. These boots are cool. Aren't they cool? I don't know what brand, but. It says it there, doesn't it? No. What's that picture of? Oh, Ariat. Ariat, there you go. I think Ariat's actually a really good brand. Ariat is an amazing brand. Ariat boots. Jesus. Never sold boots before, but they're a good boot. Ariat, you did the if you did, yeah, I think it is. I think you're right. These are like new. These Reeboks. Would you be interested in those? I think you should. One of us should. Definitely, because the comps on the Ariat is pretty big. Not too sure on them, hey. Yeah. I have, I've, I've, I've obviously heard of them before, but I've never actually seen them or picked them up. And yeah, they're not too bad on the soles. Mm. But um, like a little bit up here, I don't know if that affects it, like the whitening of the up the top there. But, yeah. but they're in relatively good nick. The soles in good nick. Yeah. And Ariat. Dusty, yeah. I think Ariat. We'll whack some comps up on screen here for the brand Ariat. But what? Surface Pro. Whatever that is. It sounds like a computer. It's a, yeah, tech, some sort of technology. Yeah. We've got a Windows Surface Pro. Not too bad. There's another bit of it. Is this an is this a nano? No idea. It's an iPod, yeah. It's kind of cool. They they're worth a bit these days. These like even phone box cases can be worth a bit. A lot of old phones, hey? Mm. Remember these, Jax? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a razor. Yeah. It was a real thin one of those. Yeah. Hey 
Hope you guys are appreciating this GoPro content that I've got for you. It's actually pretty easy to use. I don't know why I was stressing about it so much. Um, all right, so we've been out here for a little bit now. A bit of an update for you. I've got a fair bit of stuff um, building up. Again, it's a lot of DVDs, but that's just what I'm doing at the moment. I can't help myself. I just see a DVD and I want to buy it because I know how much money is in it. Um, so apologies if it's a lot of that sort of content and you're looking for other stuff. There's a lot of stuff here that I should be looking through. I'm going to give a bit of a go with those electronics that I picked up. Um, you know, it's not something that I know too much about. You'd have to obviously test it to see if it works, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and try and get a price off her and buy them and then take them back and probably just sell them for parts. Um, but yeah, three phones and a MacBook Surface Pro. You probably can't go wrong there. Here's a Harry Potter something or other. Cool. Cool. I'm sure there's a few more in there. I don't know what the hell that is. That looks lovely. It's an overseas power adapter. Oh, okay. How do they? Oh, the Commonwealth Picker. Do you watch a lot of him? Yeah, I do. I like him. Yeah, nice. I'll take these. you got some nudie jeans here. Yeah, I've got excellent brands of jeans. You really should go through them. Yeah. Um, any, have you got, do you any, have a lot of nudie? Any, oh, I don't know. Don't know. Any UW. Oh, do you do? I've got, I'll take, I'll um, take that. I've got, um. Thin, thin, uh, broken iron. Williams, I've got. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll probably tell, I've got a friend, that, like that friend that was going to come. Um, I can get it for her. That's cool. Honduras. Haynes Beefy, yeah, that's really cool. I think I'll do that. I don't do a lot in clothing, but Harley like that, that'll sell well. Yeah, I don't know enough about him. This looks good though. Have to comp this one up and see what it's worth. If you're enjoying these sorts of videos, guys, I do two videos every single week on this channel. So go ahead, smack the subscribe button. Let's get this channel up to 20K. Now, Laura has, Laura's got a storage unit. I've only just found out that she's got a storage unit. So, so I'm, she just remembered. She just remembered. So I'm actually pretty, Laura, do you mind if we go and have a look at your storage unit? No judgment, please. No judgment. There's never any judgment. We love the pick. How long have you had this storage unit? Two years. That one right there. Oh, this is exciting, Laura. This is exciting, Jack. very exciting. Are you excited? Let's have a look. Oh, oh look. Look, look, look. Random things are oh. huge. Laura, this is cool. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us come here. Look at that little Rockstar motorcycle hat. Hat. Oh, shit. Well, this is really exciting. You're easily excited. Yeah. <laughs> There's a nice scarf, a rod and gun scarf. Oh, yeah. What's this? Once upon a time. Oh wow! Got some record, uh, some cassette tapes. Once upon a time. Yes, that's a collector. That's a real vintage collector's item. Yeah, you got two of them. Dead, Deadwood. Oh yeah, Deadwood's all right. Did you see in the DVDs that set of um, car ones? Yeah, the, yeah, I did. Yeah. I don't actually think they're worth as much as okay. I, I thought they'd be. I thought they were good sellers. I, car thing. I would have thought so too. Yeah, yeah. Hamish Macbeth would probably be alright. Yeah, it's funny what you think will do well and then what, what ends up being the ones that do well. Yeah. Or just trial and error. There. I think that's a good show. I am going to pick out these BBCs though, which I know are pretty good. What one's that? It's called Red Dwarf. Oh yes, that's very old. Yep, and you've got a good collection. Yep. Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. 
complete. There you go, Red Dwarf. So what do we got? We got seasons one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of Red Dwarf. That's good. And then we're gonna go these two, Inspector Montalbano. That looked okay, and then Hamish Macbeth and Liberty City Stories. Nerf guns. These Nerf guns would go well on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. Catherine Cookson goes well. Let's have a look at this one. Twenty-two might be worth it. That's good. Touched by an angel. That'd be great. Second season of Raw Hide. Clint Eastwood, Raw Hide. I don't remember watching that. Oh. Okay. Probably worth it. Oh, wow. Well done. What a find. Mm. Check that out, Jax. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I don't know if that's the it's super not expensive not one. Nintendo one mate. I wouldn't think so. It's in my garage. So. It's interesting, mate. We've got the, the games in there. Built in. Yep. No barcode on it. Still, eh? We'll look into that. Yeah, I'm never short on supply, I guess. No. So it's always like, what do you want to sell? Right. There's another pair of news. Oh, yep, good. It's a really good brand. They're in good condition. Do you reckon they're women's? I think they probably are. Ray Tapered, yeah, 3032, that'll be good. There's a pair of South Cape, not South Cape, Man, Man Inc. No, don't do that. Well, what are the four brands you like? Ah, uh, so brands that I like. You like? R.M. Williams. Yes, well, I've chosen another pair. G-Star Raw. Yes. New. Yes. Love new. And I love... Um, Nudie. Nudie. Oh, Nudie. Nudie. Nudie, yes. yes. Nudie. Nudie. They are the four, what do we say, five? Was yeah. that five? That's four. Four. They're the four that I look for. Okay. I just found this. Well, Laura found this. The one didn't like. And they go, this one here went for 40 bucks. So, I think it's definitely worth throwing in. Never heard of them before, hey? No, neither. But that's all there, so fingers crossed the other ones are there. Discs are obviously pretty good. Yeah, disco, mint, and dish. Alright, that's a good one. <clears throat> Let's get back to the house and see how much all this is worth. <laughs> all 
right, so this is the part of the video where we step into the living room and we sit down with everything that we've been able to find today and we work out a price point with Laura that we can hopefully then go on to sell for a profit on eBay. And I'm pretty confident that we're gonna do pretty well today. Laura is generally pretty good with her price points. Having been here last week, uh, we worked out a pretty good deal. So I'm hoping for much of the same today. Jax is in there right now. Um, he's negotiating with his price points on what he's buying. I won't film that. I'll let you guys go over to Jax's channel and check out his buying. Uh, Oz Treasure Hunters, make sure you hit the subscribe button on his channel. Um, I'm gonna get prepared for mine. All right, Jax has done his thing. He's gone through some numbers with Laura and he's got a pretty good result. So go and check out his channel. Um, I'm about to go through my stuff with Laura now as well. And uh, look, we've got a few things today, majority of them being DVDs. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, games as well that we might actually start with, um, which I've just dropped. Some electronics, uh, some clothing and a pair of shoes as well. So the first thing that we're gonna have a look at are the video games. All right, um, I've done a good deal here for Laura because these these are cool games that I think will like I think the sell through rate will be good here, and we've done all of these games for five dollars a piece. Now, if I'm if I'm in an op shop and I see these games and they're priced at five bucks, I'm probably going to buy them. And even though it's a bulk deal today, I still think it's a good deal for both Laura and I. That's going to be ten, twenty, thirty, forty five dollars in total. But I think there's gonna be enough profit to be made buying them for 45 bucks. So not too bad of a start. All right, let's blast into, let's blast into some shoes and clothing, hey? How much? Well, I haven't comped those, that brand, any UW. So what do you normally get from? 40. About 40. 40. So, what, five? Yeah. I'm gonna get them on money back. Yeah, two fives on that. So 10 yeah. bucks on the jeans. Yeah. Um, now this, oh, look, this isn't, what, what would you say this? It's not, um, not genuine. Not it's genuine. not genuine Atari yeah. or you Nintendo. See how there's no Nintendo, no Atari written on yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a, a third party yeah. make. Yeah. I, I don't actually even know if it's worth anything. Yeah. You buy know. it at the shop for the forty dollars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You go. You if no I've seen it. I've seen it in Rabina. Yeah. I have no idea. I'd have to type it in and do research on it. Okay. Ten bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <coughs> All right. So I've just done. Ten dollars on the iPhone. Um, I did have a look at these two as well, but I've ended up saying no because I just this one's actually a really good buy. Laura's saying because it was her mum's, and her mum was saying obviously it's in great nick, and she's just no longer using it. She's upgraded her phone, so Laura reckons she can get some really decent money for that. So I'm going to let her go ahead and do that. Um, and then the iPad as well. Unfortunately, the iPad she was saying um, was unable to update the new um, software. So because you can't update the new software, I just would have to sell that for parts. And I just honestly don't think I could make too much money. So let me know in the comments if I've missed out there, even selling it for parts. Uh, I'd really love to know because it's a new category. I don't sell a lot of this stuff. So it'd be cool to get some uh, info if any of you guys know about it. The next, the next one that we're going to have a look at, I'd like to get some info off Laura for this as well because there's a big whopping $994 price tag on this thing. We have a Surface Windows 8 Pro. So I showed you guys earlier in the video what that looked like. Laura, I don't know. I'll take it off camera with you now, but I wonder what sort of condition this one's in. All right, so we have just had a look at this Surface uh, Windows 8 Pro. I've spoken to Laura about it. Um, there's no charger to it. Um, I've had a look on eBay. You can get about $220 in pretty much like new condition for these things. Um, hasn't been used. So should be in good working order. I think I can sell it as is for roughly 180 bucks, buying it for 50. We're gonna do 50 bucks. Let me know in the comments if you think that is a good buy. It's a little bit different for me, but I'm interested to see how it goes. All right, and pretty much finally, we have a whole heap of DVDs because that's pretty much the majority of what I'm buying here today. Um, the best of the bunch is definitely Inspector Rex, Laura. Um, so Inspector Rex, as you would know, she, Laura oh, knows all of her price made points. A trip this made a special trip. Oh, really? Yep, Just yep. knew that I'd be after them, eh? Yes, she said, make sure you show Matt Inspector Rex. Oh, is that right? Yep. Didn't have to show me. I was hunting that down the minute I saw it. Um, that Inspector Rex sells for 100 bucks. All right, we've just crunched the numbers on all of these DVDs. And look, it's the majority, like I said, of what I'm buying here today. And we've had a look at a few of them. Some actually didn't comp out to be as much as I thought they'd be. Um, so I did pull a couple out. But everything that we can see here in the video, um, I'm doing for a dollar each. So it worked out to be $73 for 73 different DVDs. I'm happy to buy them at a dollar a piece. There should be enough profit in that. I did obviously speak around the two best, which is Red Dwarf and Inspector Rex. We're doing basically $2 a piece for these. So it works out to $14 for a dwarf and it works out to $22 for 
for Inspector X there. But Inspector X sells for 100 bucks, and I'm pretty sure Red Dwarf is some pretty good money as well. So I'm happy to pay two bucks a piece to get my hands on those. Uh, it works out to a little over 100 bucks worth of value here in the DVDs, but that should be some pretty good profit. We now just need to work out what our total cost is for everything that we've bought here today. Alrighty, uh, so we've got a final cost. Laura has crunched the numbers and we have agreed that the entire haul today comes to a grand total of $245. Remember, I was here last Friday and I spent $620. So Laura has pocketed $865, if my maths is correct. So um, it's been a pretty good run over the last seven or eight days with Laura. Jax has obviously come along for the ride here today as well. Uh, he's been able to buy. How much you spent? Uh, $268. $268. Bucks. And like I said... $265. Yeah, <laughs> round down because I round up. Down. Yeah, he rounded oh, you, up. You round up to 270. I absolutely stuffed myself. If you guys are watching this right now, here's a bit of a 30% club tip. Don't go into a negotiation with your highest point first on your first item, like $5 video games. That was a horrendous move on my part. Uh, thought it might have come in handy a little bit later in the feed, but um, the DVDs, we still did okay. I would have liked to have done a little bit better, but Laura's a tough negotiator. <laughs> um, but I'm happy with this. 245 bucks. I've got a heap more DVDs to list up. Jax has got a heap of stuff. We checked out Laura's storage unit. That was pretty sweet. Laura, once again, a huge thank you for letting me come and check it all out. Uh, we've had a lot of fun. And this, the, the weather has been good as well. Because last week, it was absolutely pouring. If you missed last week's episode, where I did spend 620 bucks with Laura, I'm going to leave it for you right here. So go and check it out. And we'll see you in the next one. And